You can see on this very first play, I mean, I get an explosive play that's almost a touchdown. See how he gets out on the safety and basically lays a block. I mean, look how far apart the blockers are and how big the lanes are for me to run through. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man Cheese, as always. Got an offensive video for you guys today. I'm be showing it exclusively in gameplay. No practice mode today. I'd really like to do more videos like this where I'm ultimately just showing it all through gameplay, either through highlights or through full gameplays in Madden 23. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button limit on the comment section. The offense today is going to be out of the Buffalo Bills playbook one more time. This is still one of my favorite playbooks, and the formation is going to be the open flex close. Now, this formation, I've actually showed some plays in the past, and I will be showing showing a play out of it again in this particular video. Uh, but the reason I'm making this video is this particular run play right here, the inside zone week. This is one of my favorite run plays. You can see I average about 12 yards of carry when I run it. The play that I showed previously was the RPO reflat wheel. If you guys caught that video, let me know in the comment section. If you didn't, I will put a link in the description for that video. That's also a very good play. We'll go over it slightly in this video as well. The PA boot is probably the best pass play. Every single route on this play with the exception of streak gets open. And the Z spot's a really good play to use in the opposite direction. You can see that this play, every, all the routes are going in one direction. On the next play here, they're all going in the opposite direction. So that's something that you could use to really diversify your passing attack. Although I don't go over the Z spot very much in this video. Now, the last play that I'm going to show uh, quite a bit is the X seam. This is something I typically use mostly against man coverages, but also works against zone. And that's pretty much going to be the passing plays, but it's really all about this run play. Everything I'm going to be doing is all based around this run play, and I'm always going to try to get back to it. Now, when it comes to the defense, typically a spread defense like this is going to be best. A lot of times people will run defenses like this mostly just to try to stop outside runs or get past rushing lanes. You can see on this very first play, I mean, I get an explosive play that's almost a touchdown. If it wasn't for that diving tackle animation, I probably would have been gone. If you were riding that back, you can see that based off the blocking, this tight end is really the MVP of this play. You see how he gets out on the safety and basically lays a block. I mean, look how far apart the blockers are and how big the lanes are for me to run through. I mean, I don't have to be a very good runner to run this play. On the next play, we're going to go right back to that. I mean, it's really best to try to mix in the pass plays and the run plays. You can really go either direction, but you can see my opponent is shooting that gap now, trying to stop that run lane on that side. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter though, because this play can be flipped with the right stick in the opposite direction and can still be a very successful run. You'll see that later in the video. I mean, the defense my opponent's in right now is not very conducive to uh, me running this particular way. I could try to motion somebody out to try to, you know, make, basically create a lane here, but you can see the way that these defenders are set up, they're just basically too packed tight in that box and one of them just squeezes through and shuts me down. <laughs> So pretty much when somebody's caught up to the run play, you got to switch it up a little bit and hit it with the pass play. Now this play right here, it basically looks like the PA boot out of the uh, gun bunch. It's essentially the exact same thing. The tight end is just a little bit further in line. That will help him get open against a lot of routes or against a lot of defenses as well. The fact that he's kind of cheated across the line a little bit. You'll see on this next play, pretty much every receiver gets open. The RB route is typically my favorite read, even though the RB route's my slowest receiver on this particular play. If we run that back once again, you will see that pretty much every single route on this play was open even though it was a man coverage the a route really has no business getting open against a man coverage but he's wide open in the flat if i wanted to take that for the easy first down i could have you can see the rb route is you know basically leading his defender as well even the x route will get open against any man or zone given the right amount of time on this particular play he's not open when i want to throw the ball because the defender from the rb route is in front of him but if i would have waited if i had time to sit in the pocket he would eventually got open for probably a touchdown down if I wanted to go that route, but I really thought that I could throw it to the RB route and get a catch and run, one play touchdown. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I just wanted to get the first down because it was fourth down. Now, the next play, I do try to switch up and go in the opposite direction. Like I was saying, I do switch out and go with the Z spot. I mentioned, you know, that play right there, it's not as good as the uh, the last play, the PA boot, but if you do decide to run this play, all you have to do is streak the X route. You have a very simple high-low concept between the tight end and the RB route. That's really it. There's really not much more to this particular play. It's a very simple concept. It's something, once again, it's a gun bunch concept. These are all really gun bunch concepts. I'm just doing it out of a slightly different formation, but at the end of the day, they're the exact same thing. So in this scenario, the RB route would be best against pretty much cover two, cover three, uh, man coverage. I really don't get a look that I want though or basically the fact that i'm too close to the goal line so i just take off try to get in with my quarterback doesn't really work out though and then on the next play we go right back to the pa boot um, I mean, I, I could just probably just run the ball in here, pound it, and he does give me the lane, but I think on third and goal, I want the option to run with my quarterback, and you can see
see all these routes are open once again uh, as we get a very easy touchdown. My opponent did go down and score. Next drive, we're going to go with the exact same series of plays. Uh, this is a play where, you know, I, I try to mimic the motion from one of the plays here uh, in the beginning, but I really didn't have to. As you can see, once again, the blocking sets up really well. Uh, my opponent is really a tackling master. I see that he's running a man coverage, uh, and the X seam is one of the better man-beating plays uh, when it comes to this particular, um, you know, offense. So I switch over to that. It's a really simple setup. All you really have to do is put the X route on a drag. Um, I could also streak the B route just to basically pull back coverage, but he's already kind of in a streak, so I just kind of leave that alone. And you can see on the next play, he's not running a man coverage. He's running a cover three, but I still have success against it. So basically that high-low concept with the drag will basically be in any defense, man or zone. On the next play, we go right back to the run play. Like I said, looking at this blocking once again. The lane is huge. Uh, all I really have to do is follow that tight end. He goes right to the safety again, which is huge. Anytime you can get a block downfield on a safety, I mean, the only guy that's not being blocked right now is the strong safety coming all the way across the field. I make him miss, and boom, we're inside the 10 one more time. Like I said, very explosive offense. We're going to go right back to the PA boot play. We're going to have the exact same success with this as well. The A route was open again. The RB route was open again. Everybody was open again, and we get a very easy touchdown. This particular video is going to end uh, pretty abruptly as my opponent on the next drive um, doesn't have the results that he wants. He basically gets down to the goal That's line, but we get an interception, and we're going to be taking this back for 109-yard NFL record uh, touchdown, although he is chasing me down with McCole Harmon. He could go all the way. And we get a touchdown, effectively ending the game. See ya. So I'll go and I'll show you guys another drive against my next opponent, um, which, you know, ultimately I just want to show you guys that this offense works against anybody. It doesn't necessarily just work against the guy that I was playing. I try to show against multiple opponents. Going to be the exact same set of the exact same plays, and we're going to get pretty much the exact same results on the first play. Uh, you know, that block there didn't get down to the safety, but I still got a very good run. I tried to tell you guys on my, I guess my last opponent, but I really get to show you that you can flip this play and have a lot of success running in the opposite direction, just as long as it's not an overly stacked defense to the side you can see we flip it and boom we're getting very big run lanes once again only now the guard is getting downfield and getting onto those safeties to basically spring me for big runs now i did mention the rpo reflat wheel but i really didn't go over it uh, much like i said sometimes i'll motion across the receiver just to mirror this but at the end of the day all you really have to do is throw to this b route as long as it's a, a zone coverage and not a hard flat throw this b route bullet and pass lead out right away you can see the receiver turns on a blocker right away leaving me just the free safety to beat uh, we make him miss. We shuck off another block and get a very big run, very big catch and run with that. Uh, like I said, full breakdown on how to run that play in the description. Now, other than that, on the next play, I basically set up that X seam again because he is running a man coverage, um, and it doesn't really work out. The, the, the crossing route kind of gets bumped off too much, but I run that play again because the tight end on his uh, little five-yard out route here is actually a pretty good route. So if he's running a man coverage, this will work in the opposite direction. It basically throws the user off. It's a nice little outlet pass on the back side I basically set up the exact same way I thought he was going to use her out that way but sure enough he did not we get down to the two yard line once again this is a very easy touchdown after this once again I'm just going to punch it in uh, with the with the best run play in this formation one of the best run plays in the game in my opinion as we get a very easy lane for a two yard punch this game ends pretty similarly to the first game as we get a defensive touchdown on the very next gotcha, series uh, and we take a huge lead to the point where my opponent doesn't really want to play anymore so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more gameplay highlights uh, style videos like this instead of practice mode, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.